Evening folks, here we are then with the uh, slightly delayed video of the SP6. Uh, a few other things have arrived and work getting in the way a little bit. From day off to day, so I thought I'd get on with it. At least do one. Um, SP6, basically half an SP7. As you can see we have uh, just one cylinder, piston assembly, slip eccentric valve gear on the one side. Instead, obviously, the two of the SP7. Uh, what is useful, although it's probably not surprising, is the fact that we've got, also got a pulley this side as well as the pulley that's been machined into the flywheel. Um, the uh, obvious, if you haven't spotted it <laughs> yet, which you probably have, as you can see, the um, displacement lubricator is now in line in the steam pipe. A bit in your face, you might even say a bit ugly I suppose, but it does seem to have a bit more capacity from the original type which was fitted just there on top of the cylinder block. Um, the SP6 indeed has got one underneath as well. Um, that's probably I'd say because it's a standard block. Uh, this one has a plug in the side soldered in uh, for the uh, port that's obviously not used on this model. Um, so, uh, maybe a bit in your face, maybe a little bit ugly, but uh, I think the benefits of that outweigh everything else. Uh, gas fired in the standard way. Gas tank, spare o ring as well. Um, <laughs> really get it to thought, right? To ask why. They're on the other ones, but I never, I never get it to thought really. But yeah, it's a spare. Um, very easy to take the tank off. I don't know if I showed you on the other videos, but just in case. Just go and screw that knurled nut there, and away you go. And I actually find easier to do that, to fill up, and then just pull on, put that on top of the uh, gas aerosol, uh, and just pull down on it. I find that a little bit easier than pushing down on the base, all that weight and, and what have you. Um, we'll put that back on for now, pretty simple. Sturdy as well, the steam pipe is well sturdy enough to hold things in place. Obviously the control there. So uh, with this one we have uh, the uh, slightly higher pressure, well about twice the high pressure I suppose, um, safety valve for the PSI. You can feel a difference definitely if you've got them side by side. There's no boiler filler on this one. Um, I don't know why, I, I was told that was the uh, possible uh, future idea uh, to put in the boiler filler plug in the top. This is just an ordinary plug but uh, uh, not that bothered really. Nice little feature if it's there um, but at the end of the day you've got to stop to fill up gas sooner or later and I would probably only do the refilling of boiler of the boiler with slightly warm water. It being a relatively small boiler, putting cold water that's just going to kill it off anyway. Um, I would say, but uh, you know, as usual, you could put in your uh, choice of different things there whistle, pressure gauge, boiler filler cap. So, there we are, uh, very similar to the uh, the norm, if you like, it being uh, all models being fairly modular. Um, it has been fired, but we'll, uh, we'll do it again for you shortly and uh, back in a bit. Well, there we go, folks. Running uh, fairly slowly there. Open up a little bit. It does whiz along quite nicely. Bit tight to get going to start with. Um, that's just running in, I suppose. But. Uh, what a nice runner. I dare say, um, well, I suppose it's obvious really, just having the one cylinder. A lot longer runner, I would have thought, or, or, or a bit longer anyway.
got a nice small flame there. Could probably have a slightly bigger one really, look. Going very well. And, uh, see how slow we can get it to go and keep going. Uh, exhaust is underneath the block. You may just have to make out there the slurry and that coming out. Um, which is probably a lot better than having it come out all over the side. Um, or indeed from the chimney really. Although I think we all like the exhaust steam to come out the chimney. Because that's how it should be really. But um, no real problems. Uh, so just a bit stiff to get started. Um, but a nice runner. Just a bit of a close up for you. See we can uh, get it running quite slowly. I've used uh, steam oil for the cylinder via the uh, displacement lubricator. Also put some on the uh, the piston rod and the valve gear rod. Uh, all the other pivot points have been um, light oil. Um, ten thirty? No, ten forty. I think it is. We'll put a drop on the uh, the little ends there, as it were. Of course, normally it goes uh, everywhere where you don't want it to go. But uh, running very nicely indeed now. It's always uh, tempting to try and slow it down a little bit more or a little bit more. Just a fraction too much. Oh, the other way. But of course, it's tradition that members should run like that. Blimey. Even this one's starting to dance, so even I'm sat on the phone. That's flat out, although the safety valve isn't blowing off. Slowing slightly, but it's just surprised it didn't uh, die quite quickly. Uh, the um, SP7 does, of course, same size boiler speeding two cylinders. Uh, and I tried that with the safety valve, and you could, you could, it comes right down. That's really quite, <laughs> quite manic.
So there we go folks, next up is an SP5D which I bought at the same time as this one. Uh, so we'll, uh, we may even get that running with its uh, perhaps very similar old uh, relation, the SE3. So uh, see you next time folks.